Methylred is another indicator that can be used for titrations of acids or bases. In this case, we're titrating an acid. The methyl red will be red in color when it is in an acidic solution. In basic solutions, the color of the indicator becomes more of a yellow to orange color. As with all titrations, it's a good idea to rinse down the sides of your flask before beginning the titration to ensure that you have enough volume to be able to see the color change effectively. Before beginning your titration, position the burette properly above the flask to ensure that all solution does go into your analyte flask. And of course, you will want to take a measurement of the volume of the burette before you begin adding any solution to your flask. As with all titrations, carefully control the flow of titrant into the flask, swirling the flask continuously to ensure that the reaction is taking place. It's important to rinse down the sides of your flask from time to time to ensure that no titrant or analyte has splattered onto the sides of the flask. Analyte or titrant there will not be reacting with your bulk solution and could give you false results. To make your life easier in titrations, it's always a good idea to do a rough titration, one that really doesn't count towards your analytical results, but will give you an idea where your end point is in terms of volume. With subsequent titrations, you can then add titrant until you are close to that volume, roughly a couple of milliliters away, and then add titrant carefully to accurately reach the end point desired. As you near the end point, it is important to rinse down the sides of the flask to ensure that all titrant and analyte have mixed fully. Adding the titrant dropwise is the best way to accurately hit your end point. In this instance, the titration may have gone a couple of drops too far, but it does indicate the color that you are shooting for, which is an orange to yellow coloration. As with all titrations, the key to accuracy is reaching the same end point with the replicate titrations, so look for the same color each time. 